Hi everyone and welcome to Something New, a talk show that we will be bringing to you every week hosted by yours truly, I'm Ariel Ferrando and I'm bringing you Something New. Today we are here talking to the director of the Performing Arts Academy, Ms. Lister. How are you, Ms. Lister? Great, Ariel. Thanks for having me. So what is the Performing Arts Academy about? What does it teach you? Um, I don't know that I would say the Academy itself teaches you mm -hmm. anything. I think the Performing Arts teach you a lot. Um, and I think the Performing Arts Academy is a nice way to pursue something that you really love and that you're passionate about, that makes you love coming to school while still just doing school, while still taking your normal classes and you know doing all the things you would normally do as a student. Awesome. Uh, and what do you feel the Academy offers to MHS? Uh, to the school overall, um, gosh, I mean, I suppose it depends on if you're talking about students or if you're talking about mm -hmm. the community or the teachers. Right. Um, I think. For students, it allows a lot of, of connections to, like I said, their passions, but mm -hmm. also to potential careers and to right. local artists um, and even national artists. Um, and then I think for teachers, it offers students who statistically have better attendance. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the arts, you have better attendance usually. Uh, you know how to focus. You know how to receive constructive criticism. Um, you know how to persevere at something and, and work it through to the end. So I think it teaches students a lot of skills that teachers value, which is kind of right. nice. And I think for the community, it's, it's kind of obvious, right? So we put on shows and we open up our doors to the community a lot. Um, we try to get out into the community. I know my acting class is going to go and work with um, some sixth graders and do some right. workshops and stuff. And then we're going to have an end of the year showcase and bring parents in. We're performing some student written pieces, which is mm -hmm. kind of neat. So even for people who are behind the scenes, they still get to sort of see their stuff in action. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it offers a lot of things to a lot of different people. All right, thank you. Um, and do you think there will be any changes to the Academy next year? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, this was a, our first year. Right, so we were trying to figure everything out. And um, I taught in the Medical Careers Academy the year before this. So I knew a little bit about how it worked. but. Uh, next year, we have a lot of plans for student leadership within the academy, which is great. Um, more plans for events, for some more mm -hmm. connections outside of the school. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think we're going to continue to like broaden the performances that we bring to the community mm -hmm. as well. And uh, yeah, I just I think some of the same, but but bigger, probably right. some more core classes as well. Okay, awesome. Um, do you think that this academy will be important to the students or even staff? Sure, yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, attendance goes up, students find um, if they're in like a welcoming, safe environment, which mm -hmm. I think, I think the Performing Arts classes and the Performing Arts Academy offers that in a big way in the mm -hmm. school. So if you feel comfortable, if you feel like you're in an environment where you can take risks and where you can do something that you love, where you can be creative, when you can put a little part of you into your product, um, that creates a better environment for everyone. Of course uh, it does. Yep. Students' SAT scores even go up when they're involved in the arts. So, on average, students in like music, theater, dance um, score about 65.5 points higher on the SAT verbals, 35.5 mm -hmm. points higher on the SAT math. So, it helps academics as well. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Um, and how do you feel the, Perfor the Performing Arts Academy prepares students for the real world? Oh gosh. Well, there's a lot of research right now, a lot of books, articles about the world being increasingly right-brained. Right. So a lot of the things that we do in school are kind of left-brained. They're kind of make sure you get the right answer. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem for you. You solve it. I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. But the world is increasingly not like that. It's increasingly diverse. It's increasingly messy. It's increasingly, um, here's a problem. We have no idea what the answer is, right? So you've got to learn how to be creative and think outside the box. You have to learn how to focus and persevere. You have to learn how to communicate verbally, mm -hmm. non-verbally. Um, you have to learn how to have confidence and have poise and build relationships with people. And uh, these are all things that I think we foster a lot. And it's so neat when I see students coming out of the performing arts after four years of doing it and just how much they've changed and how much poise they have. And um, I think it offers a lot in terms of that. 
right, thank you. Sure. And uh, why would you recommend this academy to students who are thinking about choosing a new academy? Oh, well, I'd like to take this opportunity to clear up a couple misconceptions about the Performing Arts Academy, actually. Right. Yeah, so, go ahead, go ahead. So one misconception is that this is only for performers. Mm -hmm. um, I have a student who's going to take my acting class next year who has absolutely no interest in being on stage or in front of a camera, wow. but is very interested in writing and directing, and this is a chance for, um, for the student to get involved in the performing arts behind the camera. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of times that's the student that we, we want and need in the Performing mm -hmm. Arts Academy. We need someone running the lights. We need someone who knows how to produce sound mm -hmm. and knows how to mix music and, um, and take something that already exists and change it in a creative way. So uh, one misconception is that you have to want to be on stage, mm -hmm. and you don't. Um, and there are lots of opportunities to involve, to involve yourself in all of those without being on stage. And I think another misconception is that this is only for students who want a career in the performing mm -hmm. arts. So we're actually, um, I think this year, we were the only academy that offered um, an academy AP level class. Um, but generally speaking, most of our students don't want to g pursue performing arts. They're not going to go to college for it. Many of them are, but more than half of them are not. And I think it just allows you to learn in a way that maybe is a little more interesting for you. Mm -hmm. Learn in a way that you're going to be a little bit more passionate about. Um, so it's not a place where you have to want to be on stage or where you mm -hmm. have to want to pursue it as a career, but it's a great academy to be in if you love music or if you love dancing or if you love being behind the scenes mm -hmm. or if you maybe want to try it. You want to try acting. Mm -hmm. You think maybe it's something you could be good at. We have a ton of electives. So I think more electives than any other academy. Um, so you get priority on electives like acting or audio production or hair and makeup or stage tech or mm -hmm. you know any of those things. So um, yeah, so, so all that. So, uh, so those students who might not want to perform uh, what, what exactly can they learn from the academy? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'd say, I mean, regular, again, regular school, right? Mm -hmm. But also um, the process of being behind that. I mean, nobody knows how to run a soundboard unless they're taught it. That's right. not something that you can just <laughs> sit yeah, down right. and figure out. Um, same thing with, like, lighting or, or whatever. So it allows them to have some hands-on training and some hands-on practice. Mm -hmm. um, but those are... Generally, students that just have to come and talk to me and say, hey, I want to do this. And it's, we have so many opportunities for it. So it's really easy for me to kind of slide them into a, a job shadow role or um, some kind of training and stuff. It's great. All right. Well, Ms. Lister, that is unfortunately all the time we have today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Wait. Oh, hang on. What happened there? The teleprompter went off. Ready, improv, performing arts skills. Yeah. Go. Uh, I'm not good at improv, so. From where? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have today. Thank you for coming in and... I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> Can I just go? Yeah. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have today. Thank you for coming and tune... Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I, I keep thinking it's something else. You could say it in unison if you want. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have today. Thank you for coming and tune in next time for the next episode of Something New.